Ilya Zabarny. Zabarny? I have no idea. Apologies. Ukrainian 19-year-old wonder kid sitting with Bournemouth right now. 45k per week as a squad player. He is primarily that center back position. He's got some interesting numbers. I mean, 13 marking and heading, not too bad. 11 passing, 15 tackling is fantastic. But that passing and technique, definitely would like to see those grow. Uh, 14 anticipation, composure and concentration and determination. He looks like he's primed to just explode one day. But right now, he's 19. He's got plenty of time, plenty of room to grow. So we'll see how the next 10 years treats him. But so far as a starting point, looks pretty nice. Career milestones, he's actually got a few. Made senior club debut, super Kobok Ukrainian winners with Dynamo Kiev. First international cap at age 18 is a fantastic one right there. So with Dynamo Kiev, Premier League champions, scored his first goal for the club. The 2021 Ukrainian Young Player of the Season. So he's got a couple of things already in the books. We're going to skip ahead 10 years and see where he ends up. As you saw, he stayed at Bournemouth for quite a while, but he has changed allegiances to Ajax right now. He is a regular start in 95k per week, 20 to 60 million rated, wanted by Everton. So he's 30 years old at 118 caps. So nationally, he's doing very well. Uh, but his numbers have definitely grown. 14 first touch, heading of 15, 14 marking, 13 passing. So he's gotten some really good numbers. Mentally, he's doing, he's looking pretty nice. Physically, not too bad either. Pace of 15, acceleration of 14. So definitely a, doing a fantastic job. So you can see Eredivisie, 30 appearances, two assists, 729. Champions League, 10 appearances, 692. Eh, not too, I mean, not great there, but he's gotten okay. Career stats wise, if we look, he so he started out Dynamo Kiev, no information there, moved on to Bournemouth for 24 million this but the summer before, has done, I mean, did very well in the Premier League, I have to say, moved off to Ajax. I'm surprised it was Ajax for 35 and a half, and he's done a fantastic job there as well. Milestone wise, you can see seasonal best 11s, international goal against Latvia at age 25, relegated from the Premier League, there you go, then bought by Ajax, Eredivisie champions, Johan Cruyff Schaal winners. I know I'm not pronouncing his name right, uh, but Becker winners, Eredivisie champions. So it's Ajax. What do you expect? They're going to be doing very well in their league. Uh, the Champions League, unfortunately, not so much. And it doesn't look like he's picked up any other personal accolades. Injury-wise, eh, not the greatest. I mean, he does not a lot, but at the same time, half of them are moderates. You do have some slights and minors, so hopefully you can get a good you know, backroom staff, a good medical staff, I should say, to kind of help with this. But I wouldn't say he's all that injury prone, but you never know. Now he does have a negative 8.5 potential, which I believe is anywhere from, what is it, 140 to 170. So on the lower end, definitely not gonna be getting some of these numbers. Uh, on the higher end, yes. So I would say this is probably 150, 160 thereabouts. Uh, but he, I mean, he looks pretty nice. I would look tactically, but he's only been played at a center back, 46 appearances, two goals, two assists, 721 average rating, so not too bad. Uh, we are going to skip ahead to his retirement and see what happens there. Well, 2038 seems to be when he retires in this save, at least. His contract expires in a year. However, he's not in the database in 39 anymore. He is 35 years old at 172 caps. That is insane. Still with Ajax, 1.2 to 3.7 million, 30K per week as a squad player. His tacticals still are there. His mentals, for the most part, are still there. Off the ball, flare, no. Uh, but heading is still 14, first touch of 14. Acceleration and pace is really where it's dwindled, and pace is still 12. So I don't know why he's not in the database anymore. He clearly could have gone elsewhere, uh, MLS, you know, Saudi Arabia, somewhere, but instead, he just kind of disappears. But I mean, you can see Eredivisie, 18 appearances, so he's not there playing much anymore, 713. I mean, still 713, not too bad as a, as a squad player. Becker, three appearances. They're not in the Champions League, or he didn't play in the Champions League. I'm not sure what happened there. But if we skip to milestones, as you can see, uh, more, you know, cup winners, Eredivisie champions. No more, it doesn't look like any more. Nope, no more personal awards, just uh, seasonal best 11s and things like that. 
Uh, but that is it. So he, I mean, he's gotten a lot of trophies in the cabinet. He definitely looks pretty nice there. But that is it. I mean, that's the career of Ilya Zabarny. Uh, it looks like a pretty nice career. Definitely one to scout and see how he does. He, he did very well in the Premier League. Have no idea why he moved off to Ajax. I know Ajax is still a big club in Europe, but the Premier League is still kind of the top echelon. But that is it for his career. I am Stephanie FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.